we're here in the walk gallery putting the finishing touches on the exhibit and you may hear some banging and clanking in the background. Those are my colleagues who are getting things ready for the opening in just a few hours. Our exhibit is called Reach and that word uh, for us uh, signifies the fact that um, our, our projects are reaching out into the community. And from the very beginning we've been focused on public sector work. Uh, that is projects that are commissioned by local government, state government, colleges and university public sector uh, schools and so forth. We feel that that's important because everyday people, taxpayers, see our work and it's our opportunity to bring design excellence to a very broad uh, base of customers and users. And so the, the projects you see here um, are the result of uh, that sort of engagement and also bringing clients and users to the table as meaningful participants in the design process. And while I pause in that word process, I'll mention that there, there are sketches and uh, developmental models, so it isn't simply recording what we've done. We want to give uh, a glimpse of how the work is done and our, our thought process leading up to these finished buildings. We've built um, you know, backgrounds and supports for models that actually lead you in and reach through the space and, and provide a certain architectural element to the design of the exhibit itself. The question of, of our proudest achievement uh, for me is a difficult one because uh, it's been an evolution as our firm started as one person, then two, then five, and so on. Um, each stage of our development has its moments of, of pride and of significance in our firm. I guess I could single out uh, the National Museum on the Mall as, as a proud moment with the caveat that it's not done yet and we're still, we're still working on it and it's been a tremendous process so far. I really enjoyed my time as a student here and uh, I, I looked at other places and had other opportunities for graduate school and I chose MIT because when I went through the studio I noticed two things. Uh, first, that uh, the projects were focused on uh, the human scale more so. Uh, they, they weren't monumental projects. Many times there were housing uh, projects and, and, and uh, planning projects of that sort, uh, but also that the students were, were very friendly and open. And the studio environment seemed um, you know, very welcoming. And those two things stuck out to me. And, and when I got here, um, it really did pan out that way where uh, I had very, um, successful and energetic interaction with students and faculty and the projects I think were ones that made difference a difference in people's lives, everyday people. And, and really is a, a, is a connection forward to our firm as we continue to do the kind of work that we studied here many years ago. About six years ago uh, I started conversations with Dean Santos uh, and Young Ho Chang, the department head at the time. Uh, they were interested in infusing more of, of the professional perspective in, into the curriculum. Uh, and I was very interested in doing the same. And so we had common goals that uh, students should have some exposure to um, what it's like to build a practice and, and be a professional uh, out in the real world. At the end of the day, you know, design doesn't get done unless you have a, a, a um, practice and a method and a process that is um, you know, profitable and allows you to keep your doors open uh, and, and engage clients in a meaningful way. You know, as I came back to teach, uh, you know, the natural tendency is to make comparisons to when you were a student. And, and one of the things that, that I saw uh, was that there was a paucity of, of, of diversity here in the school, especially if you're talking about African Americans. That is something that I want to work on with Adele and Adir. It takes an effort. Uh, getting the diversity and getting opening up opportunities for a broader range of, of students doesn't just happen if, if you wait for it to, to unfold that way. You have to um, you know, be assertive about it. Uh, because um, with such a small profession, you know, it doesn't occur to bright young students in, in an urban setting that I want to be an architect because they don't see many uh, as an example. The profession of architecture is only 2% African American, for instance. So uh, exhibits like this help to raise the visibility of this, this great thing that we do called architecture. Uh, and 
having someone like myself as a role model uh, might encourage uh, young people to to pursue this a wonderful career. The exhibition is fantastic. It's really exciting to have this in our school. It's just put together beautifully. I mean, it's really, really well done. A lot of people work very hard to make this happen. Yeah, I'm one of Phil's classmates from uh, MIT. Uh, I love the exhibit. I've always watched his work. I watched him as he began to become the quality architect that he is. The one thing I commented to him tonight was what I like about the work of his firm is how they are able to incorporate light and color and how it makes them dance together. I wanted to talk about these um, study models that are behind me. Um, what I really love about this kind of model is that it, they're made from such provisional materials. This is just cardboard and little pieces of wood and foam. But what you see here is people really thinking in three dimensions. I had Phil uh, as a teacher in the professional practice class, which uh, was really informative and really helpful. I learned a lot in that. Um, and then I also had him as a reader for my thesis, uh, which was really great to actually have somebody on my committee who has made a lot of buildings that are all quite successful. When you look at the work, you don't have to be an architect to appreciate it. Uh, particularly looking at the fact that they focus on public spaces, so I think um, it reminds you that architecture can be a way to introduce uh, to communities uh, a vision of success and how public buildings can do more than just house a program or a service, but can be a significant statement for that community.